Hey guys, welcome to this extra video. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're headed out to a Christmas party and we put a candy camera. Did you get the camera, candy yeah, camera? Yeah, I did. I don't know if it was on though. It was Ew, it could have died. There. It was either dying because of the cold. Yeah, so candy who knows, camera. we maybe got some footage. Hopefully we got some footage of what our horses do when we're not in the barn with them. Anyway, we're headed to a Christmas party. I have my favorite trusted amazing dessert let me show you guys the beautiful clear foam case so is that something another thing you got for christmas so my kids are revealing their christmas gifts all uh over time through vlogs but sophie did get a new it's phone case clear. and we can use our cricket maker cricket no, I like clear because i like to see my phones because it's like a cool color oh Okay, you guys remember that I've always made this chocolate trifle dessert every year for Christmas. And this year, um, did you bring this on new? Yes, I did. Thank you. Uh, this you year, yes. this year, our Christmas got canceled, so I'm bringing it to a Christmas party. So, long ago, we were a really close family. Me and my, my siblings and I were a really close family. We get every, every Christmas, we would all have Christmas morning at our families with our families and then we would all go over to my parents house and we would all have this huge big extended Christmas where we um, had amazing food it was always potluck we all took stuff and we all helped do the dishes and clean up after our family had a lot of girls we were all girls with just one boy and it was amazing all the cousins were the same age we all had my three sisters and I three of my sisters two of my sisters and I all had boys so we had six boys we all had two boys all at the same age so six little boys running around and then my other sister had some girls and it just was like the most lovely time ever and then sadly over time my parents both passed away and we try to continue the tradition after meeting at each other's houses and doing a family Christmas every year. And it just got to be so much work and so much, got to be so much work and so much time. And as our family started to get older, we started to focus more on our own individual families. And then we just all kind of drifted apart. Not apart, we still talk to each other all the time. It's just, what did you draw, a horse? It, it's supposed to be a horse head. So we all talk to each other all the time, but we don't celebrate Christmas together anymore. And this year, like a few days before Christmas, I was talking to my brother and I said, you know, like we're all older again, a whole new stage where like half of my kids are far away from us. Like dessert is melting. Half of our family is far away and they have to travel here. Christmas got canceled and it's not the same as it used to be. My kids are starting to do the same thing. They're starting to celebrate more with their own individual families at their own houses. And, and I see that cycle repeating itself. So I said to my brother, you know, we need to start this again. We need to get back into the Christmas spirit. We need to be a family at Christmas again. We need to reunite together as a family and all get together. And my brother said, let's do it. Let's just do it. I feel like my brother is such a kindred spirit to me like we are so similar in so many things that we do and say and I don't know how we both got to the same place we're both more relaxed and laid back than we ever were before and we both understand that nothing matters more in life than other people's happiness and so he said like let's just do it and he phoned all of our siblings and we all said yes we're gonna do it so today is our family Christmas party the first one and probably have you ever been to a family Christmas party yes how, how long has it been? I don't know. I don't, which, where? We always have one. I know, but one with my family. It's only your family. I know, but I mean like not our immediate family, it's like my sisters. Years. I feel like Gabby and Sophie have never been, never had a family Christmas party with my family before. Like. It's just never happened in their lifetime. And so today is that we're going to a family Christmas party, a family celebration, and we're all bringing food and joy and happiness. I keep telling you guys that this new year, for me, for us, is going to be about finding our joy. And we're going to bring you guys along and share our joy and find our joy and do things that make us feel joy instead of things that make us feel stressed so there are going to be a lot of changes in our lives in the next few months you guys a lot of changes we've already started a bunch of them um so let's go to a party we are at emma's house and we are having a big huge christmas party and emma what did you get for christmas everybody um, 
Do I tell like all of them or just, just wait. the main one? Emma, what did you get for Christmas? Just the main one. Okay, so the one that I'm excited about, I got course lessons for five lessons with Sophie at What's it called? The Pasofino Farm. Yeah, Pasofino Farm. So she's going to have five lessons and ride with Sophie at the Pasofino Farm. What else did you get to go with that? Um, I got a whole bunch of riding gear, like uh, the boots, and I got a crop. I'm not going to use that. No, why don't you use that? Because I'm not going to be like hitting a horse. I know, I won't hit a horse either, but that's like, people do that. And even our kids do, whoops, and even our kids do that when like the coach says, wake them up. There's a, apparently a kind way to do it. Some horses, you just hold it and then they move better, mm -hmm. but not at that farm. You don't need one at that farm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't hit my horse either. Enough. And then um, I'm going, so tomorrow when my dad's taking me to Kingston, we're going to go to Greenhawk and get my helmet fitted. So you're going to your very first ever Greenhawk store. Yeah. Sophie will wear the GoPro mm -hmm. when you guys go riding together and we'll see your first ride because it is like you ride or die at that place. All you have to do is hold on and keep your heels down and you like it's so fun. Like it is the best riding ever. I love that place. So anyways, Emma is about to join lessons. She's about to be a horse girl. Did you know? And she's in trouble with falling. And she has a problem with falling. Not off a horse, disclaimer. Yeah. Just on ice. Just on ice and on grass. Wait, what was it that you fell when we went riding the other week? When we pulled into the driveway, oh, you fell. Oh, that was on ice because I was chasing dogs inside and I slipped and fell. Yeah, so Emma falls. Twice. On ice, but not off horses. I luckily hasn't been on a horse yet. <laughs> All right, so anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys that Emma's gonna be joining the horse girl world. I'm excited, we'll have more videos with Emma, and she'll probably come out and ride some more at our house too, huh? Especially as the weather starts to get better. Definitely. I wanna introduce you guys to somebody else. This is my other niece, and her name is Madison, and she used to ride horses. My sister used to own horses. You guys know my sister is a animal control officer, and she used to be big into the whole everything and anyway so now her daughter wants to come and ride horses at our farm. I'm a new character in the series. I'm Madison. I'm 22 and I'm coming to ride horses. So this is Madison and she's 22 and she is having the best holiday and wait close the toilet. <laughs> I already flushed it. I know but we may or may not be standing in the bathroom. And I'm coming to ride horses, so look for me on the vlog. So have you ever ridden horses before? That's what they I all want to know. I have ridden horses before. I took horseback riding lessons. I know how to trot, canter. Well, why did you stop? I stopped because one time a horse it threw me off and I got scared. I'm not scared anymore. Because she's 22. I think my mom just got rid of it because she was scared, actually. So that's why I stopped. So it was your mom's horse and... It threw me off, so she got... I don't think that's why she got rid of it. She didn't have time. So I haven't ridden a horse since, but I'm looking forward to riding a horse again. So watch for Madison so in an upcoming vlog. In a new vlog. Yeah. Yeah. Day by day. Follow day by day. Follow Madison. Oh, my TikTok is Madison Abigail with three L's. Madison Abigail with three L's. I think. <laughs> we don't know. We are getting ready to play games. We're playing a card game and yeah, we moved all the furniture out. around so that we could. And this is my cousin Sophie. <laughs> so that we and could play. And this is my Aunt Laura. <laughs> are you playing, Sophie? Yeah. Gabby's playing. We're playing a card game. And I love Gabby. And it wasn't even like you looking at it from Papa. I love Gabby and I love Sophie too. Don't you know that you're beautiful?